But first we're gonna start which color? Blue color, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go in to check it out. How they will hold the brush. Let's see. Let's see how they will hold the brush using their paws and then after that we'll put a, a pressure and do the paint into the white or there or into the easel. <laughs> how good they are ladies and gentlemen please clap for them they are very smart now everyone the trainer is using a hand signal as well here for these animals to direct them for them to stay and do that move and once the animals done a good job then the trainer will give a reward for these animals. So what you can see that uh, right now, these, they are giving a fillet of fish, which is what we call tilapia. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is, we call it a, a positive reinforce, wherein we are reinforcing the animals to repeat their behavior. And we are usually giving them a something that they love. So the next color that wanna or the otters we are going to show to us is the red one, or I guess it's maroon. And Greg we're going to dip it into the paint, and after that, otters will hold the brush using their paws. Okay, Greg is giving a hand signal, that means steady, stop. And then after that, then... Let's see. He will give a food. Just like good job. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of ways to say to these animals that they've done a good job. Sometimes our or the trainer is using a verbal one, like for example, excellent, good. So once the authors heard that one, that means they done a good job and they will repeat their behavior. The next color will be the green one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, through the use of the training, we can stimulate both physically and also mentally of these animals. And through the use of the training as well, in case that they need a medication, it will be very easy for us to treat them. And this one, it will be less stress for the animals and as well as for the trainer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these animals or these otters, we are not training them to give an entertainment to you guys, but we are training these animals for medical and also non-medical behavior in case in the future that they need it, and it will be less stress for them and as well as for the people who look after them. While we are waiting for the otters to do something for us, ladies and gentlemen, these otters, one of their common predators is the snakes. But believe it or not, one of their predators that is facing facing them right now is the human. And uh, these animals, they are 